The first thing to look at is the time of day and the light. Now, without question, if you're photographing outside, particularly landscapes, first thing in the morning, last thing in the evening, the light's just better. Um, it's warmer, the shadows aren't so bad, the contrast isn't so great, you can get nicer pictures. This is an example, uh, pre-dawn, we're in uh, Mayan ruins in a place called Tikal in Guatemala, and up the top of one of these pyramids. Now, the thing about this light at this time of day is it changes very quickly. And if, you can see in the foreground, you can see the outline of all the trees in the rainforest. Now, if this photograph had been done four, four minutes earlier, that would have been black. That have been too, you'd be no definition there at all. Likewise, if it'd been done three or four minutes later, the sky would have been too bright for the photograph to have worked. In fact, what happened was when the sky got bright, all the mist rose, so you wouldn't have been able to take the shot at all. So early is important. After dawn, they call this golden hour for a very good reason. Look at the, the warm yellow hue on the photograph. This is in Tuscany uh, in October. And just because it's landscape, you don't have to hold the camera that way around. Turn it in portrait style like this to get a slightly different um, view on the scene. A couple of compositional points is think of something in the foreground that can make a focal point as well. In this case, the vine and the light on the vine. <clears throat> but the subject, which is San Gimigiano, is three quarters of the way up on the left. But the real thing about the photograph is the time of day and the light. 